And Rivers, your inland first alert seven day forecast will be in the 50s for highs on Friday and Saturday, back into the 70s on Sunday. We'll have a final cold front come in late Sunday evening, and hopefully, behind that boundary, we'll at least get in a few drier days Monday and Tuesday, even most of Wednesday, later Wednesday night. A few showers may return, but. Um, you know, we, we, we've been talking about the cloud cover and rain. Now we've got the fog out there. Mm -hmm. So oh, as boy. if it wasn't gloomy enough, let's throw in a coating of fog. I mean, it becomes <laughs> I almost know. humorous after a while. We're just so ready for Monday because that Monday looks like it's going to be it beautiful. It does. Better, better weather out. down the road. Down the road. <laughs> Did you say so ready for Monday? Yeah. Nah, I'll still I'm take a weekend. Ahead. I will I'm still take ahead. the weekend. <laughs> the weather makes you adjust <laughs> your standards a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's true. for sure. That's All right. true. Jerry, thanks. Uh -huh. Well, as you look back through history, historical figures have reshaped, elevated, and reached to new heights during tough times. And oftentimes, we are fortunate to listen to their unique perspectives to hear how they reach their full potential. WNCT's Dominique Moody spoke with Dr. Paul Cunningham, a medical trailblazer who worked tirelessly to provide for all patients, including African Americans, right here in the East. A country boy from, from Jamaica. Yep, that's how Dr. Paul Cunningham describes himself. <laughs> Still holding on to his Jamaican roots. His first crack in medicine came at just six years old. I used to make little models with clay and, and operate on them. A long historic career followed. Dr. Cunningham becoming the first African-American president of the North Carolina Medical Society in 2016. And in 2008, the fifth dean of East Carolina University's Brody School of Medicine. And I think the influence really came from my grandfather and from our family doctor. Role models taught him early lessons about success. There was no hurdle ahead of me that I couldn't overcome. From there, his academic career soared, graduating from high school, college, then landing in the Big Apple. I'd never seen snow before in my life, living in an apartment. You know, I grew up in in a rural environment. The transition proving to be challenging. I had a very broad exposure, but it was clearly a challenge to go from small town Jamaica to Fifth Avenue. And would soon start working in Harlem, which made his transition to Bertie County, North Carolina in 1981 almost seamless as he took on the roles of vice chief of medical staff at Bertie Memorial Hospital. A predominantly African-American uh, struggling many times. We had um, a, a drug epidemic in that time. At that time, circumstances similar to home, similar to the colonial uh, nature of life in Jamaica. He started Bertie Memorial, making the start of a lengthy career in Eastern North Carolina. Everything that I've accomplished in life has been related to other relationships and the teams that supported me and, and that I supported. While making history in his role, Dr. Cunningham has picked up several honors along the way. One being named to the state's Order of the Longleaf Pine, a prestigious award given by the governor. Dr. Cunningham's main focus these days is on his family, as he's now retired. My family has been long suffering. But the part that was missing was me. But they were the most supportive people that, that I've had the privilege of having a relationship all of my life, particularly my wife. For Nine on Your Side Hidden History, I'm Dominique Moody. WNCT is celebrating Black History Month, highlighting the impact of African Americans here in the East. Nine on Your Side is telling the stories of African American struggles and achievements. You can watch the East's Hidden History Saturday at noon right here on WNCT Channel 9. Still to come in your news at 5.30 in your consumer news, the retail giant Walmart hosting a special savings event for parents with small children and infants. Plus, Samsung, the world's top phone seller, has a new device for customers. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
In your evening consumer news, millions of Americans are bracing themselves to fall behind on credit card bills. According to Wallet Hub, close to 40 million Americans believe they will miss at least one credit card payment in 2019. People between the ages of 18 and 44 are the most worried about being behind. Reports say women are more likely to feel irresponsible or ashamed when charged a late fee. Late fee. If you're in danger of missing a payment, 9 out of 10 respondents that tried to get a late fee waived were successful. In other news, research suggests your friend's social media posts are making you spend more money. That's according to the National Bureau of Economic Research. Personal spending is a lot more visible these days thanks to social media where people post photos of things they buy or eat. That includes a new car, maybe an expensive vacation. Oof. When people see other spending, they tend to to spend more. I can see that. Yeah. Well, from car seats to sippy cups to diaper bags, there's a lot that goes into a new baby. Now Walmart is having a day to help new parents out. Walmart is hosting Baby Savings Day this Saturday from 10 in the 10 30 in the morning till 4 30 that afternoon. And Walmart stores from across the country will be hosting the largest in-store baby event of the year. There will there will be rollbacks both online and in store. More than a billion smartphones were sold globally last year. The world's top phone seller is out with a new device they hope consumers will flip for. Chris Martinez reports from Los Angeles. This isn't your father's flip phone. I can unfold it and instantly see the map on the big screen. <laughs> Samsung unveiled a new device called the Galaxy Fold, a phone and tablet in one. The company showed off its new twist on the smartphone at an event in San Francisco. The device can use multiple apps at the same time. This is really the future of where our devices are going. CNET senior reporter Shara Tipkin says this is the first major redesign of the smartphone in years. Right now, several phone makers are working on their own versions. In November, a small Chinese company introduced a device that bends. This is something that not everyone is going to buy right away, but I think eventually we're going to see all, our, all of our devices have um, flexible screens that you could fold up and put it in your pocket. But the new tech comes at a cost. Prices start at nearly $2,000. The Fold will have similar features as Samsung's latest update to its regular Galaxy phone. The Galaxy S10. The S10 has an improved camera and a new ultrasonic fingerprint scanner built right into the screen. There's also a 5G model, which is expected to be up to 20 times faster than today's phones. But right now, 5G is only available in a few major cities. People in rural areas or less densely populated areas may not get 5G for a couple years. The Galaxy S10 goes on sale March 8th. The Fold will be available April 26th. Chris Martinez, CBS News. What used to be a gas station in the 1940s and 50s has now been converted into a comfortable coffee shop. Located in the historic city of New Bern, Crema Brew is sure to make your day feel a little more energized. The family-owned coffee shop opened this week on Broad Street. Owners Roxanne and Donovan Zook set up to create a comfortable and inviting environment where people can go and enjoy a good cup of coffee with others. I've always said co a, a good interaction that happens over coffee. You feel at home and you feel comfortable and, and we want just the community to, to come together. To learn more about Crema Brew, just head over to our website at WNCT.com. I like coffee. I love coffee. And today is a good day for some hot coffee, maybe yes. some hot chocolate. It's not Oof. very pleasant out there. We'll get a check of your forecast next.
feel like today's weather, you're probably in the minority. Uh, yeah, it, not uh, a fan. <laughs> I, I know everybody has their different <laughs> taste out there. I'll take some sunshine, and unfortunately, we just don't have any good full day of sunshine, at least for the next four days. Now, I think by the time we hit Monday, we'll finally get some brighter weather moving back in. Until then, more times than not, we're going to see cloud cover and rain. Our bigger weather issue tonight is going to be a lot of fog that has developed across the area, not just at the coast, but inland. It'll slow you down, so allow some extra time. Absolutely. Thank you, Jerry, and thank you for watching. More news, sports, and weather is coming up next at 6.